All right, guys, I'm back. This is going to be a very special video. You know why? Today has been 12 years since the 2012 revival of Cartoon Planet premiered on Cartoon Network. 12 years on my cousin's 14th birthday, March 30th, 2012. I'm sure some of you guys remember Cartoon Planet. If you don't, then perhaps this will refresh your memory. Cartoon Planet is an animated variety show and a spinoff to Space Ghost Coast to Coast that premiered on TBS in 1995. But then it continued its run from 1997 to 1998 on Cartoon Network. Years later, they brought it back and it ran from 2012 to 2014. Now, the original version of Cartoon Planet back in the 90s has Space Ghost, Brack, and Zorak, where they would sing songs, do funny jokes, and it would showcase Hanna-Barbera cartoons from the 1960s like The Flintstones, The Jetsons, and Scooby-Doo. But we're pretty much focusing on the revival. The revival premiered on Cartoon Network on my cousin's 14th birthday, March 30th, 2012 and ran until Saturday, March 1st, 2014, featuring a different format from the original series. The first difference was, due to budget restrictions, Space Ghost was absent in the revival, which left Brack and Zorak the only characters hosting. And Zorak is not trapping at console pod like he was in the original series. He is often sitting in his beanbag playing video games and he would often be interrupted by Brack, causing him to lose the game. And another difference was, instead of 1960s Hanna-Barbera cartoons being showcased, this version showed Cartoon Network's original shows, most likely their original cartoon cartoons from the mid-1990s to the early 2000s, airing in a 7-minute or 11-minute episode segment per cartoon. This would allow for four or five different Cartoon Network classics to air on Cartoon Planet's one-hour time slot, airing in a similar format to the Cartoon Cartoon Show. For example, if they would show four Cartoon Network classics, they would show four 11-minute segments. If they would show five, they would show three 7-minute segments and two 11-minute segments. That's what I mean by it would allow for four or five different classic Cartoon Network shows to air on Cartoon Planet's one-hour time slot. In October 2012, Cartoon Planet celebrated Cartoon Network's 20th anniversary with a two-minute Happy Birthday Cartoon Network song sung by Brack. And the song would also pay tribute of all the shows throughout the network's history. They would also show holiday episodes of these classic Cartoon Network shows, most likely Halloween and Christmas. The second season of Cartoon Planet was great from March 30th to December 28th, 2012. Cartoon Planet's revival started to go downhill in 2013. On January 11, 2013, Cartoon Planet, well, hold on. The shows that were part of Cartoon Planet were Courage the Cowardly Dog, Codename Kids Next Door, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, The Powerpuff Girls, Cow and Chicken, Dexter's Laboratory, I Am Weasel, Johnny Bravo, Flapjack, Chowder, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, Camp Laszlo, Billy and Mandy, Evil Con Carne, and Fosters. Those were the shows that were part of Cartoon Planet. But on January 11th, they started airing Cartoon Network shows that have been on hiatus, that have recently ended, such as The Problem Solver, Secret Mouth for Awesome, and Robotomy. But thank God those shows were removed from the block by March 1st in a transition back to the cartoon cartoon format. Then on April 12th, Cartoon Network even fucked up the block even more by airing shows by tele... They should have aired shows 
by Teletoon, YTV, or Warner Brothers Animation. The three were Scaredy Squirrel, Almost Naked Animals, and The Problem Solvers, breaking the block's tradition of only showing Cartoon Network original shows. I didn't mind them showing Tom and Jerry Tales because I used to watch that on Kids WB. But the other two shows, Scaredy Squirrel and Almost Naked Animals, fucked those shows. Why the hell would Cartoon Network stoop this low to air shows that are not original to Cartoon Network? Part of Cartoon Planet. They were removed from the block by July 26. From June 27th to August 15th, the block aired Thursday afternoons at 1.30 p.m. Eastern. The block ran on Friday nights for the last time on August 30th, 2013, before it was replaced by a new Friday night block called Pizza Night with Pizza Steve. The block then moved to Saturday mornings at 11.30 a.m. Eastern and Sunday mornings at 11 a.m. Eastern on September 7th. Then it started airing weekday afternoons at 2 p.m. Eastern on November 4th. And sadly, the block's last day Aaron on Cartoon Network was March 1st, 2014. Looking back on the revival of Cartoon Planet 12 years later, I definitely miss watching this block on Friday nights. When it returned to Cartoon Network in 2012, I said to myself, I found another show to watch on Friday nights besides Friday Night Smackdown. And now my Friday nights are boring as hell now. Well, I still got SmackDown airing on Friday nights, which is good, but I still miss watching Cartoon Planet. That's why I want to come on here and do a video remembering Cartoon Planet on its 12th anniversary of its revival. But they do have some videos of Cartoon Planet when it was still on Friday nights. Just the Brack and Zorak segments, not the shows. The Brack and Zorak segments were great, too. I ain't gonna lie, but I wish they would add more skits because they kept e re-airing the same skits over and over again, which was another downfall of the revival of Cartoon Planet. Because I looked it up, and there were some skits that were missing that they should have aired instead of re-airing the same skits over and over again. But other than that, I still miss watching Cartoon Planet on Friday nights. This was my Friday nights between ages 20 through 22. So that wraps up my rant remembering Cartoon Planet on its 12th anniversary of the revival. If you're new here, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell for my next rant. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, leave your comment down below. I will catch you tomorrow for my first video game review of 2024, NBA Street Volume 3. Or I might come back around midnight or so and try to do another one of my food reviews because I saw Mike Henry do a food review. But we'll see. Until then, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. No more talk.